I want to draw your attention to the picture of the collapse building right behind me. This picture was taken in 2013 in the capital city of Bangladesh where a nine-story building collapsed all on a sudden and more than 1100 people died. The major reason behind this catastrophic failure was use of low strength concrete. So this picture clearly tells us how important it is to have adequate strength in our concrete and also to have a clear understanding about their failure mechanism. Otherwise, using tons and tons of concrete is just not going to help. The key ingredient of concrete is cement which is a very complex material because it is made of multiple components in the very small length scale. The major component is calcium silicate hydrate or CSH that gives most of the strength. So to understand the failure behavior of concrete in the large scale, we need to characterize CSH in the micro scale. Now surprisingly, there is not any experimental data on failure strength of CSH. So why is this gap? Why did not anybody address this issue? The reason is isolating CSH from a hardened cement paste without disrupting its properties is a real challenge. And that is where my research is focused. I am using relatively a new technique called focused ion beam milling that allows me to cut out micron sized pillars of CSH without affecting its properties. So I cut out these pillars and I do x-ray on them to see their chemical composition. This composition data helps me to make sure that I have correctly isolated the CSH from rest of the ingredients. After that, we crush these pillars in our lab using an instrument called nano indenter. So technically these tests are very similar to the crushing tests that are done on regular concrete. The only difference is my tests help me to get information about failure strength of the individual CSH. We are hopeful that using this testing protocol along with some statistical analysis, we will be able to develop a failure model of cement in the micro level. Based on this model, rational engineering solutions can be provided to make concrete structures stronger while using less amount of cement. Since cement production is responsible for 5 to 10 percent of the total carbon dioxide emission in the world, reducing the amount of cement required will also reduce the carbon dioxide emission. In this way, the outcome of this research will help us to make our structures stronger, safer, and more environment friendly. Thank you. Thank you, Ramaman.